Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash Cool Creators episode. I've taken advice from the people in the comments on how to improve the series. I'm no longer going to be going from the most recent level first. I'll go back a little bit and work my way forward to the most recent levels. I also heard you guys when you said that you were tired of seeing modern creators on this series, which is why I'm bringing on a more design orientated creator here, H Tigers GD. As you can see, I've got no progress on any of these levels on this device but on my lunch break today I was having a look at his levels. I think resilience is gonna be a good one to start on. It's at the top of the second page. The top level doesn't have a song because it's currently banned on Newgrounds. So I'm gonna hop into resilience first and you can see his usage of dark glow is already stemming at this level. One thing that stuck out to me about this dude's recent levels is his color depth. He often uses a lot of tones of the same color which allows him to mix light and dark colors very effectively and it makes his glow pop out. I like this part because the usage of black is really prominent and it actually ties into the colour scheme pretty well. It's like he's draining the rest of the colour from the level. So I've moved on to Resurrection which is at the bottom of the first page if you skip the layout at the bottom. So you can see in this that he's refined the glow a lot and it looks more shady than shiny if that makes sense. I'm kind of just skimming over these levels so I can get into the more interesting ones that he's uploaded recently. This last part has some really nice atmosphere. It's got the colour depth that I'm talking about and it's got some floaty arrows that fit in with the theme he's got going on. This one is Epiphany. He made it under a week as a challenge, so this is going to be interesting. He's moved away from just using regular black ground spikes at this point. He's added some more layers to it. His colours are always nice and interesting. They complement each other and they just look good. Yeah, this one's really clean so far. I love the glow beams that kind of subtly overlay that black space, stop it from sticking out too much. And I like that he uses colour for emotion and then at each end of this level it's all grey, just like a beginning and ending thing. And that makes it so the level is brought to life in the middle and that's a really cool concept I think. Eternal Glory using Can't Let Go 2.0, interesting. Sweet intro and look at these movements now, he switched up his style to be more effect driven now. Damn. This is the point where his levels start getting more interesting, I feel. You can definitely see what I mean by the colour depth now, with the vignette around the edges, making his glow really pop in the middle. It's very filtered. I think there's a blending screen above this one to bring all the colours together. Very nice. Hey, this is so clean, dude. I do find it a little bit strange that the level is darker at the drop, but these colours are just divine and you can't deny that. I love the filter on this, the designs are super clean. The pulsing beams don't get in the way, it's just blissful. What a delightful level, free coin as well, we don't talk about that, this was cool. This level's kind of like a turning point in this catalogue for me so far. It's just interesting to me how we linked effects and design with a similar format and colour scheme. This is a one day level, Cop Ice. Now this is awesome, this has a very strong nature theme to it, and this is where his colours are the most impressive so far. I love how it goes from light at the top to dark at the bottom while keeping all of the gameplay visible and stuff. Now this level is shorter than one minute but that doesn't really mean anything to me. I just love the nature vibe that this has. The depth is insane, especially with the different layers of grass at the top and bottom. The colours cut out and then it cuts back in right here with some emotion again. It's awesome. Very atmospheric with the darkness shrouding you and also those little fireflies that circle around. It is very linear, but you can expect that from a one day level. I respect this. It's just so smooth how everything's like moving up and down very slowly. It's kind of like wobbling in a way. Cop Ice, made in one day, dedicated to the guys and the. Now this one is an auto level using Be Gone Mr. Gone. And this one is much more experimental with effects and stuff. I just love the aesthetic that this has, the little depth, how it's stepped with like incremented darkness instead of glow. It's a complete switch up from his regular style. You've got fireworks and stuff in the background. And then you've got some pretty cool animations here, how things seem to squish and expand. You've got a retro style pulse background. It's so intriguing to see him work without glow and still be quite effective with his colour range. As you can see in the background, you've got the light and dark still. Those bouncing things look awesome. Yeah, this is cool. Definitely a nice change in pace from H Tigers right there. I like that. Now it's time to sink my teeth into an unrated demon. It was supposed to be made in a week but took a little bit longer, blah blah blah. Cave themed, now that's interesting to me. 
Ooh. I love these of custom assets here. The depth is insane as always. We've got some custom borders to build the tension. Damn, the pulses are insane with this. Resuced. Ooh, I love the rock arrows, how they crumble as you pass them. That's so creative. God damn, this goes off. Ooh, I love the change in speed right there. That goes so well with the song. This actually goes so hard. It's just so original. I love the mix of in-game assets and then like the rocky foreground. That's so cool. And you've managed to make the cave theme without just using grey. That's so nice to see. Experimentation in that. Now I have no idea what to do here. You tricked me. <laughs> you put an X on the orb making me think I wasn't going to do that. But god damn the structuring is really nice looking. I love how it's all floaty and then you have the space at the top and bottom where the background can really shine and show that colour depth. I'm going to beat that. Resuced. Alright here we go. It's time to one attempt this level. This actually bangs. This is by far my favourite one so far that we've played today. Ooh. I love how climactic this feels with the super bright pulses. It makes a change from having a dull, dark and gloomy cave. Oh, I didn't want to tempt it. No, I'm not going to lie. This is the complete opposite atmosphere that I was expecting from this level being cave themed. And I love that. I love that you've surprised me with this. I can't do that spider part, man. Boom, we got past it. Now what's next? Hey, I love that little stick man. Ooh. That adds a lot of character to the level, I think. Oh god. What happens now? Okay, it's the ship part. Sweet. Fly low. I love that this is floating. All the blocks are moving. That's insane. No, I got pranked, dude. I was thinking I was sick because I didn't get lost in that motion, but then I did get lost in the motion. I got pranked by the block, man. It puts a spike there. So it looks like you're meant to go up. That's actually so evil, but I respect it a lot. It adds an extra layer of judgment to the gameplay, which is kind of needed because this is very easily sight readable. This wave gameplay is probably unironically the funnest thing I've played all day. All right, here we go. We're back to where we were. No prank for you today, sir. All right, now it's time to get to the ultimate climax. <laughs> this feels so good. No! How did I die? I guess I was just off point. Oh no. But I'm definitely glad I made this cool creators video. I was kind of skeptic when I saw his older levels. But then when I saw this, I was just like, God damn. Because this level just slaps, man. Again, I love the prominence of black in this area for the decoration and the foreground. That's a really nice link between different elements of the decoration. All right, let's not die at this part again. Oh wow, you can really jump the gun with that. I guess you do have to be on point with the timings, you can't really just spam. And that kind of forces you to use the music sync, which is interesting. It's definitely more satisfying than just spamming, I'll tell you that for sure. Yep, this seems to work, baby. That is so satisfying to play. I love it. Resuced. It's a collab with Akinawu. I didn't realize that the first time. God damn, that level's a banger. I'm going to send that for a demon feature right away. And we're going to give it a rate 10 stars. This is his most recent level, Reverberate. It's made from only using the pulse tab and there's no glow. I can't wait to see this. I was about to go into practice mode for this level, but then I realized that it's all pulsing objects. So there's not much point. I might as well just see it in its full pulsing glory. But man, this looks so cool. I love how you stacked blending to make that really nice and shiny interior without any glow. And it just makes a really nice looking effect in the end. Wow, I'm really impressed by this. The colouring here is so cool. I love that green pulse. That is my favourite out of the lot of them. 
This just looks fantastic. It's a little bit hard to read, I gotta admit, but man, this has so much energy with it. It's used the sun really well to make it look really nice and crystallized. I don't know what I've just done. All of the glow is done with scaled up circles. That is so cool. Like he's took a 0.5 scale circle, then copy pasted it and then put it on 0.52 or something like that and just kept on doing that over and over again so you get a really nice smooth glow piece. That's amazing. But dude, this creator is so diverse. I love the fact that they've made really clean design and now they've moved on to building challenges like One Day and Pulse Only. It just makes for really memorable levels and they're really enjoyable too because the gameplay slaps in every single one. I can't get over the fact that you scaled up like a million circles to make glow. That is so creative. All right, now I'm gonna pop off at the end. Yo, it's ramping up. Damn, I loved that level so much. That is my favorite out of all of them. Even the cave level, which I said was my favorite out of all of them. And then the one before that I said was my favorite out of all of them. Oh my goodness, this guy just keeps improving. Make sure you look out for his next levels. I'm following him for sure. That was really fun and really creative to see. I'm also gonna send that for a seven star feature. You got two sends in this video, congratulations. Such a cool concept and hopefully you see why I've got this guy on the cool creator series. I'm gonna play Hydro Genesis pre you while I talk. I feel like this was the perfect video to try out the old to new video format because at the beginning I bet you thought this guy's levels were not much special but then at the end I really surprised you and showed you his other concepts that really slap. I've had a blast going through these. I played a lot of them in just practice mode because I wanted to get to the good juicy stuff at the front but they were all awesome. I love that. Thank you for watching this Geometry Dash Cool Creators episode. Leave some suggestions of who you want to see in the future down in the comments below. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.